Hello and welcome to Mead Week. Fort Mead recognizes its service members of the year, bag of registration to open up, and you too can be a rock star. These stories and more, but first, a quick wrap up of Memorial Day celebrations. Oriole Park at Camden Yards hosted a Military Appreciation Day on Sunday. Nearly a thousand complimentary tickets were given out to service members and their families. And despite the cheering crowds, we did manage to catch up with one soldier who summed up what the day was all about. I do believe it is important to recognize you know, the people that, that work so hard in our military and our services. So it, it, it feels, I mean, I got um, tickets for free, so that's cool. <laughs> and I know that's a big part of it being, you know, um, Military Appreciation Day. So I think it's cool that people still, you know, recognize that and that it's important to them because it is important to me. I work very hard for what I do and what I believe in. So it's nice to be appreciated in, in different ways like this. In other news, Fort Meade took time out to recognize the non-commissioned officer and service member of the year. Navy Information Operation Command's Petty Officer 2nd Class Janice Truong was named the Ultimate NCO of the Year for fiscal year 2012. Several of the honorees couldn't make it due to deployments, including Specialist Gabriel Turnage of the 781st Military Intelligence Battalion, who was recognized as the Soldier of the Year. In other news, on Monday, June 11th, the Public Affairs Office is opening up the Commissary Bagger Licensing Program for the summer season. 35 eligible applicants are needed. So what are the eligibility requirements? For the summer season, dependents of active duty service members aged 14 to 18 have top priority. If you're eligible, stop by the Public Affairs Office at 4409 Llewellyn Avenue on June 11th. There are two sessions, 9 a.m. to noon and from 1 to 6 p.m. However, if the 35 slots are filled, no further applications will be taken. If there aren't 35 eligible dependents, the program will be opened up to other categories. Turning to news from MWR, MeTV caught up with the new Child Youth and School Services Sports Director Matthew Sagart says he was about to prepare a baseball field for a game. His message, even though spring and summer sports are in full swing, the focus now is early registration for fall sports. And Sagart also says there's something new for the pint-sized soccer players. It's no longer clinics, it's an actual league, so they practice once a week and have games, which is different than usual. Uh, normally, uh, in the past, it's been a clinic where the kids learn skills and drills, and then it's a six-week long course. Uh, this year, it's going to be an actual season for them. This year for registration, uh, I've listed on the registration form the maximum number, and so of course, yeah, please uh, register sooner than later, uh, especially for the uh, 9 and 10, 11 and 12 year olds uh, in the older leagues that we have, yeah. It's the registration office is right down the street on Reese Road, 1900 Reese Road. Uh, make sure to have a current sports physical as always, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, always come see us. Uh, we're always happy and ready to help. So. On next week's show, we'll get an update on the huge youth sports complex that's expected to be completed in the fall. Meanwhile, here are just a few details on fall sports. There is soccer available for nearly every age group, starting with the three to four year olds up to 11 to 12. Cheerleading and tackle football start up in July. Flag football begins in August, and the swim season runs from September to November. CYSS says early sign up is critical, especially in the sports that involve league and county participation. For more information, contact CYSS Sports at 301-677-1179. More from MWR, Army Entertainment and the Rock and Roll Express featuring REO Speedwagon, Styx and Blue Oyster Cult are looking for a solo acoustic act to perform a 15-minute set at Fort Knox on June 23rd. Here's a quick promotion from Army Entertainment. Fort Knox is hosting the Midwest Rock and Roll Express featuring REO Speedwagon, Styx and Blue Oyster Cult, part of the Army Concert Tour. And you could be a rock star for a day. A contest open to active duty soldiers stationed in the continental U.S. If you can play guitar, sing, and perform a 15-minute set, you could be the opening act at Fort Knox, June 23rd at the Rock and Roll Express. For more info, visit ArmyNWR.com. There's still time to enter. You must be an Army soldier, active duty, National Guard, or Reserve, at least 18 with a valid ID. Submissions must be received by 2 p.m. on Wednesday, June 6th. For more information, go to www.armymwr.com. In a related story, MWR is announcing auditions for the annual Meads Got Talent Variety Show. The show itself is coming up in September, but the audition process starts this week. The McGill Training Center is hosting auditions on June 6th and 7th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. More auditions are scheduled for August. For more information, you can contact MWR at 301-677-7552. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.